Grab those VHS players, we got a figure to look at. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new Walmart exclusive Diamond Select The Crow VHS version. Yes, this can only be found coming soon to Walmart. It's Walmart collectibles section. The Crow on the side and on the back. All the nice photos from the movie and the actor and of course here is the barcode as well the best part about this is the packaging to be quite honest with you it's like an old vhs clamshell and you can see the figure and the accessories but one bummer is that you're gonna have to tear into this in order to get everything out however if you do it right and kind of slice along the sides you will still be able to use this as a functional pseudo vhs copy of the crow just happens to have an action figure in there so it's gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot depressing cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new walmart exclusive the crow vhs version by diamond select and of course here's eric draven all out of the packaging and as you can see this version doesn't have the trench coat that the normal release that diamond select did had also he comes with a few different accessories as well but it kind of reminds me of the walgreens exclusive version minus the trench coat he does come with his own headstone you get eric draven just whisper my name in your heart and i will be there inscribed and as you can see it's two different pieces so you get the dirt and the tombstone and then you kind of just form fit it in it's like a lego block and once you get it going it sits up nice and sturdy and then you get his little crow friend and the little crow is done nicely he's sculpted nicely and as you can see he's got two little pegs on the bottom of his feet and you take the tombstone and you simply just plug it in and he fixes pretty nicely he's nice and sturdy atop there and then you also get this poster from the movie hangman's joke it's basically just a nice sturdy piece of cardboard but it does the trick and then of course the figure itself which comes with his own stand it says the crow right there it's got a peg on it you can see the crow right through there there he is now i have previously looked at the standard release with the trench coat and i had my issues with it largely i did like the figure though so this one is basically the same it's nicely painted nicely detailed largely an all black figure but he's got elements of paint and the duct tape and the hands and everything else so it is a really nice figure and it's really nice to have both versions of this figure now he's got peggles on the bottom of his feet obviously for the stand all the way up top you get to see all the duct tape and the black the differentiating blacks which is nice and then the major grievance i had with the first one was that his neck is a little bit too fat and too long which then elevates the head a little bit too much so it kind of throws it off in that sense he does have some nice articulation he's got some ball joints in the arm nothing at the bicep he will swivel at the elbows single jointed and he has wrist rotation as well the paint on the wrist could have been a little bit better just saying it's a little bit light in the black of course when it hits that skin tone you get some nice rotation in the head he can look down he's not going to look up though because he's got that big mane of hair but you can get him off the sides but again it's that neck that really chubbifies him right at the base right and then he can swivel up top he will rotate at the waist as well now he does have those interesting legs which take it or leave it i guess you know <laughs> whatever your preference is but for me it's okay except for one thing is that when you move the legs up it starts to chew away right around the crotch and so you end up damaging your figure and for that nah, that's a no-go i don't like that at all it's kind of a huge bummer to be honest he has some thigh swivel he's got single jointed knees which also swivel just be careful around the knees mine are a little bit loose looser than i would prefer and then he has some ankle rotation and the boots will go up and down the boots are sculpted really nicely but with the figure i will say that with the various accessories you can get some nice photos out of it and you can actually stick the little crow if you get it kind of situated under his hair it will end up staying although i would have liked it that you could actually perch it on his shoulders something to that degree now to kind of show you how he stacks up with the last crow figure the standard release that diamond select put out you can see the obvious differences between the two this one i would say that the face was not my favorite and i actually prefer this new one's heads also the priors 
tombstone was all one piece. It's still two pieces, but it was all glued together, ready to go. He's still got the bird sits up top. So, in that sense, yeah, it's the same. But he did come with several other accessories and his hand that this one did not. But you can actually swap out all the accessories if you'd like. So they all kind of elevate one another. So it's nice to see. As far as scaling goes, he is around that 7-inch mark. So you can make a deal with Malbolgia. He'll go well with, say, McFarlane's DC Multiverse. That's a team up I'd like to see. He'll be entirely too tall, out of scale, for most Marvel Legends figures, just FYI. And for NECA, he actually will fit in, let's just say, with the boys or the Ninja Turtles. Again, much like Batman, I think the Crow and the Ninja Turtles... <laughs> That might be an interesting crossover, right? So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Walmart exclusive Diamond Select VHS, the Crow action figure. I like all the accessories. I think they all fit with the figure, and I especially love the packaging. I just think it's a huge bummer that they didn't do just a little bit more so you don't only have to damage the packaging in order to get this figure out. It's more of like a gift piece, a collector's piece, kind of put it on your shelf and go, oh yeah, that's my crow movie open it up there's an action figure inside one thing i do not like especially is the fact that the crotch with the legs and everything rub and will actually guff up the paint and the figure the plastic itself so it actually damages the figure to kind of move this guy around in some instances the neck is what it is it's not my favorites you actually like this head sculpt more than the previous one so in all honesty i'll tell you this is one of those figures that's really best left in the box it's really nice to see it's a nice conversation piece brings back the nostalgia of all those old vhs clamshell movies from back in the day i don't really care for the fact that when yeah you move the figure around with his legs you're gonna dig into the plastic and yes you kind of have to destroy the box in order to get the figure out so again i'll tell you it's one of those that's best recommended if you keep it in the box but i am curious to know what you guys think about this new vhs version of the crow comment below let me know let's talk everything the crow and thank you again to my friends over at collection obsession for sending this out to give you guys this early fresh look and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember when it comes to vhs tapes be kind rewind and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios